You've been asking for this for a long time now and I need content. So this is The Honest Review. With any honest review on these decks, uh, this is just an opinion of mine. You can ride any deck that you want. Uh, this is only personal preference and the honest review is just my honest opinion on these sort of products. And other disclaimer, I ride for a deck company and I know uh, the man behind McKinsey Fingerboards. What's up Sir George? But that's not gonna sway my opinion on this review. So, let's get it on. McKinsey Fingerboards is a Philippine fingerboard company that makes primarily fingerboard decks. So let's get into the meat of this review. Uh, what I got is a McKenzie Fingerboards GU deck. Uh, GU is their low concave, low kick board that they offer. It is a 34 by 98. It's technically a standard size in this era of fingerboarding because a lot of company owners run 98 uh, length boards and 33 to 34 width decks. It has five plies, which is really cool, and this one in particular because a Rasta colorway in it, so which is really cool. Looking at the quality control on McKenzie fingerboards right now is night and day. It's so different in a good way. Their quality control just went from a five to a 20. It's just it looks so professional, it just, it's just mind-boggling, it looks so good. So the graphics I got is a 1 out of 4 in the Philippine series, it's a Philippine flag, and they have a bunch whole series at Megan's Finger Boards to choose from, but the highlight of this is they have real, real wear graphics, they have legit real wear graphics, because some companies claim to have real wear graphics but it's not actually real wear graphics it's just they claim it's a real wear graphic the b-roll that you're seeing right now of my deck it's actually came in the first few sessions that I have and it's already scratched up and how it scratches is actually really really cool it's easily you can easily wear it down for some people that's a bad thing because they like their boards pristine but I am one of those people that loves scratch graphic it gives the aesthetic of that gives more of an aesthetic to it so my opinions on the McKinsey GU is it looks good it has good board it has good board feel but not excellent board feel because for me, I ride a medium to high kickboard and this is a medium to low kickboard so it felt like it was longer, it was wider so some tricks that I flicked was I was missing like a, like a big heel. I have big heels on lock but on this uh, I have a hard time flicking a big heel because Maybe it's just the concave. Uh, I think it's the concave and it's the kicks. Again, my opinion, because I'm a high, medium to high kickboard rider, and this is a medium to low kickboard. So, overall, if I can sum up this whole video, this weird ass video, um, McKinsey Fingerboards has great quality. Uh, their graphic is a legit real wear graphic, which I truly love. And, the McKinsey GU is not for me, it's just too low for me, it, it, I don't get the same amount of board feel on my uh, daily driver. Overall, I'm going to give the McKinsey GU a 8 to 8.5. Eight I highly recommend it for uh, medium to low kick riders right there, talking to you guys. But for uh, medium to highs. I don't recommend the GU. So if you want to buy this deck or any McKenzie fingerboard deck for that matter, uh, you can buy it in a couple of different places. If you're in the States, you can buy it at McKenzie's Big Cartel for 
30 bucks. That's what they're selling it for, 30 bucks. If you're in the UK, uh, you can buy it at the Skull Fingerboard site for 22 quid. Yes, they're selling it for 22 quid. Or 21.99 to be exact. And if you're in the Philippines and you want to buy one, it, it will cost you around 800 pesos. So yeah, fairly cheap for, a, for the quality that you're getting. So not really cheap. I don't, I don't want to say cheap. It's really affordable for the quality that you're getting. There's the word. Follow, follow Mackenzie as well at, on Instagram, at MackenzieFB. That is the end of the Honest Review. I hope you enjoyed this Honest Review of mine. This is just my opinion. Uh, again, with a disclaimer, uh, you can ride any fingerboard deck that you want. It's all personal preference. And that's what I like about this. This is what I like about fingerboarding and skateboarding. It's all personal preference. What they hear is mostly an opinion. So, yeah, it's all on you. If you want, if you want to ride tech decks, that's good. If you want some broken knuckles, M5s, it's good. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video. Comment down below what other fingerboard products that you want me to, if you want me to review next. And subscribe. Hit that notification bell and all of that youtuber schmeal and yeah that's the end of the video uh, be kind to one another take care bye I was sitting down I'm good. <laughs> okay take one what's poppin V <laughs> <laughs> Something vibrated in my phone. Oh my god, I got loaded. 50 bucks. That's sick. Oh god.